Alright guys, so I wanted to show you how I tie my knots and I do this in a different way than a lot of people do and I do this, it's just, I, I do just a regular clinch knot but I do it using my forceps and so I just wanted to show you the way I do that there's my cat, but anyways so this is just some orange backing so you can see a little bit better but I've threaded it through the eye of this clouser here and then I got my tag, I'm gonna pinch the main line and that tag together and so my fly is hanging now. I'm going to take my forceps and stick them through just like that. I'm going to twist it around six times. Two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to grab, open my forceps and grab that tag and pull it back through. Now I'm going to just, you know, moisten the knot if you want to with your saliva or whatever and pull that knot down tight just like that. And with that knot I can tie I can tie my fly onto my tippet in easily 10 seconds or less. I also tie my, you know, I have a really easy way to tie on droppers using this this technique. So say you're fishing like a Chernobyl ant, whatever hopper, whatever you want to put on there as a dropper, you do almost the exact same thing, but we don't have a fly on there, we're just going to make that loop. So we take the tag end we have our main line and our tag and pinch them together. I'm just, and so now I'm going to stick my forceps through that loop and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Catch that tag end, pull it through. So now, if you can see that little loop right there, we're going to catch that loop on the hook like that, and then pull down just like that. And then when you want to put, then you just tie your fly on the the other end makes it extremely easy to put on droppers uh, you don't have to worry about it sliding off the hook um, and I also have a way to do my surgeon knot my triple surgeons double surgeon whatever you want to use <coughs> to connect you know your tippet to the leader or you know two pieces of tippet together whatever just connecting the line so once again I got two pieces get all that out of the way I got two pieces of uh, of backing here, two orange pieces. I'm gonna lay those end over end. I like to give myself enough, quite a bit of room to work with. So normally, we would tie it. You know, we we form our our loop, and then we would reach through and pull that through three separate times. Well, with this, I'm just gonna skip all that and do it in all in one solid step. So I got my got my loop formed. I'm gonna go. I usually will hold this with my extra fingers. I'm going to stick my forceps through and go one, two, three. Catch both of those those free ends, the main line and the tag. Pull it through. Probably help if I had two different colors of backing. But, whoops. So now we have our, our knot formed and we're just going to pull that down tight. Of course wetting it or whatever you want to use saliva, stream water. So, show you guys again one more time. Cut that off. Get off there. Okay. So, I'm going to take our two pieces of line. And I usually like to do it left to right. So, this would be my leader. And this would be the tippet piece. I'm going to lay those end over end. And I like to kind of pinch it kind of down here right by the end of that, that, that leader. Just so I have as much to work with as possible make my loop pinch it so I have my loop formed I'm gonna stick it through and I kinda hold these out of the way with these fingers go one two three catch both of them you gotta make sure that you don't let that that long piece slip out of your hand and pull it down tight there you go that's how you tie knots with your forceps. Hope that guy. Hope that uh, helps you guys tie your knots a little faster. I can do that even if my hands are cold, uh, if it's rainy. Um, real small tip. It doesn't matter. But, anyways, thanks for watching, guys.